My name is Jeremy Keith. I'm not really sure what I do anymore. I describe myself as, I guess, web developer, designer, but uh, to be honest, um, I do a bit of everything. Uh, I just like to say I make websites. That's broad enough to cover most things. Well, the best thing about working on the web right now is, I guess, just the sheer amount of stuff that's out there. Uh, new techniques, new technologies, new APIs, new frameworks, new libraries, new tools. Uh, it's very exciting. It's also probably the worst thing about working on the web right now because it can feel like you could never keep up. There's just too much stuff coming at you and uh, I don't think anyone truly feels like they're up to speed with all this stuff. But you don't get into working on the web if you're looking for stability. It's always going to have a lot of stuff going on. It seems like right now in particular there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, and that is exciting and I would say that is you know, one of the best things about working on the web. Actually the thing that has me most excited but also most nervous is probably web components because web components give web developers a lot of power and that's great if we use that power wisely. Essentially web developers will be making the kind of things that up till now only browsers could do, making widgets and elements um, for interfaces that are truly native. And that's really exciting and that's really powerful, but if we do it wrong, uh, it could be horrible. But if we do it right, it could be great. So I guess that's certainly exciting, web components. Decentralization uh, is sort of core to the web itself. So the web is built on top of the internet, and the internet has this idea of decentralization at its heart. So the internet is a physical network of machines, a, a network of networks. And the whole point of the structure of the internet is that there is no center to it, that you can add nodes to the network, uh, it's decentralized. And the web, which Tim Berners-Lee built on top of the internet, takes a lot of the same architectural principles and ideas, and decentralization is part of that, that there is no center, there's no one central authority. When you want to make a website, you don't have to ask anybody's permission. It's quite different from, say, the App Store model, where you have to ask Steve Jobs or whoever it is for permission to have your app in the, in the App Store. Um, but strangely, the web has morphed over time to take on a lot of facets of centralization. So for example, we sort of only have one search engine, which is Google. We sort of only have one social network, which is Facebook. Uh, but it doesn't need to be that way. Uh, and certainly when it comes to publishing on the web, uh, I think that decentralization is very important, that people publish from their own nodes on the network rather than publishing from one central authority. So for me, decentralization is about having your own website, publishing on your own website. Though it still means you can uh, get all the benefits that come with Facebook and Twitter and these other large silos uh, by sharing what you publish with those, with those sort of central authority figures. But uh, fundamentally, owning your own little corner of the web. It always surprises me uh, when I come across designers and developers who don't have their own place on the web. Um, I mean, you, it's great to use other platforms like Twitter and Dribbble and, and uh, GitHub. Uh, those tools are great, but I think it is important to have your own place. So to begin with, have your own place on the web. That's a start. Then publish on that place. And there's a bunch of little technologies that can make it um, easier to interoperate with, with other websites. Um, the idea of uh, posting replies on your own website. Somebody posts a blog post or uh, a note and you want to reply to it from your own website. There's various little technologies. There's things like uh, using micro formats. There's things like web mention. Uh, a lot of this stuff gets discussed at uh, gatherings uh, called Indie Web Camp, where people get together and, and work on this idea of decentralized publishing, uh, this idea of, of an indie web. Uh, but yeah, the first step is just having your own website. My talk at Generate is mostly about the concept of progressive enhancement, which uh, seems like a, a tired old idea. It's something that people were talking about five years ago, ten years ago. But I'm going to argue that actually it's an idea that's held up really well. It's not a particular technique, it's not a particular technology, it's more a way of looking at things. It's a way of viewing how you build. It's an engineering approach. Uh, and I'll be arguing that it's a very, very robust engineering approach because I get a bit worried when I see uh, some of the things being built today, very complex things, where they're reliant on, for example, JavaScript. And while it's true, not many people are going to switch off JavaScript, the JavaScript could still fail for other reasons. 
Uh, and that, that can be okay if you're building in the right way, that it will simply fall back to whatever's underneath the JavaScript. So if you've got a robust foundation of, of good HTML with links and form fields, then you can fall back to that. But if you're reliant on JavaScript, you've got a single point of failure. So it's mostly going to be about this idea of, of progressive enhancement, uh, but more how we look at approaching complex problems on the web and how taking, a, I guess, a more simplistic approach can get you very, very far.